Hey everyone, welcome back to Ormsby Farm. My name is Casey. So on today's video, it's gonna be a little bit of a shorter video, but I get asked this question a lot on Instagram and on uh, YouTube and through our emails is um, some of my favorite books that I've done to study to prepare for our homestead. Um, so if that's something that interests you, stick around. <laughs> Alrighty, so for those who don't know us, um, we are a blended family of adults. It's a mother, two sons, and my brother's girlfriend. And um, we just bought a uh, nine-acre homestead in East Georgia um, that we will be turning into all small, small farm, Ormsby Farm. Um, none of us have background in homesteading. Over this past year of 2020, we have learned a lot of tips and tricks. I've made some really good friends and joined in on a podcast called Around the Hay Bale, um, where we give tips and tricks for first time homesteaders. Um, one thing that I did is I did a lot of research when we decided to get into this homesteading lifestyle. And I'm asked constantly in my DMs about what books I used or books I went to to learn um, things of starting a homestead. So I want to kind of sit down and talk to you about my top five um, because I have five of them that I go to literally all the time and they're great books and th they should be a book that you have in your, you know, your library on your homestead. Um, and for all of these books, there will be a link in the description box. If you like these books and you want to check them out, um, they are affiliate links. So they cost you no more, but they help out our channel and we would greatly appreciate it. Um, so I would say my first one, this first one, I actually won on a contest in on Instagram and I have loved reading through it. And that is Seed to Seed. Now, one thing about Seed to Seed is it teaches you how to save seeds from your product or your plants that you grow on your homestead. This is a gold mine, y'all. This is a gold mine because, you know, you are going to have to, if you're starting your homestead, spend a little bit of money to put out to buy seeds. Seeds are not expensive. Um, you can trade with friends. But to start your homestead, you um, or will have to put out a little bit of money to buy seeds, seedlings, plant starts, that kind of stuff. Now, if that's something that you do every single year, that's fine too. Um, that you're growing your food is the most important thing to highlight. Um, but to save money, your plants have seeds. Once you harvest that vegetable or that fruit, they have seeds. And this book teaches you how to save those seeds. I mean, it is, let me just find a random one for you. Hmm. And what a good thing is they have seed statistics in here of germination rate and all that kind of stuff. How to properly store your seeds. Um, ha ha. Lettuce. And now I lost it. As you can see. But it tells you in here. I'm not going to give it away because you need to get it for yourself. But it is a great thing on how to save seeds from even lettuce when your lettuce bolts um how to save those seeds so you have them for the following garden year again great book seed to seed there will be a description in the description box or a link in the description box for you to click and go get one for yourself um but that's uh, one of mine that's my number five choice these next couple are ones um i got and i have really enjoyed learning and it's kind of like bent so that's what I'm trying to because I use it all the time and it's called the backyard homestead and it's 40 different projects for uh building your backyard homestead such as like fences and pins and sheds and uh, solar and wind power you raise bed gardens I mean it's just a ton of stuff in here try to open up to one of them some for like fences and pens and it's like set by set instructions. Now I will be using this on um, a lot of upcoming videos as we prepare the farm for animals. 
Um, I just received my Murray McMurray uh, hatchery catalog, so I will be ordering soon. But we got to get all this kind of stuff done first. So this is another one, number four, Backyard Homestead. And it's called 40 Projects for Building Your Backyard Homestead, but I just call it Backyard Homestead. There is a link in the description box to get this as well. Now, this is the mama of all mamas, and that's the Encyclopedia of Country Living. This was actually bought for me for Christmas in 2020. No. No, I think it was 2019. Um, by Brother Chris. And it is all information that you will ever need to know about country living. I'm talking about uh, living off the land, building a cabin, how to milk goats. I mean, hello, step-by-step -step instruction, building a straw stack, um, understanding earthworms. I mean, canning, drawing, and preserving food. All of that's in here. It is a great hunk of information. Oh, it's heavy, it's heavy. Another really must have in your homesteading library. Again, Cyclopedia of Country Living. There is a link in the description box. If you'd like to purchase one, um, go check it out because it really is a great book. This is another big mama. I don't even know if it will fit in the, oh, there we go. <laughs> this is the practical guide to simpler living. Okay. And this is the country wisdom and know-how. It is another one that's kind of like a wealth of knowledge for like soap making, candle making, uh, goat milking, cow milking, what to do, how to store it. Um, right here is how to plant a vineyard. I need to tag this one actually while I'm playing. It's good to know. Because I was just thinking, y'all, um, if you watched our previous videos, we're pulling up some of the, the vines that are there. And I want to make sure that I know how to prune because you have to prune vineyard uh, grapevines. But I'm getting off topic. Huh? Just because you open it up and it like, it's so cool. It's, I mean, it's so, um, it's like having like a hundred year old grandmother, um, on your library shelf. Just saying. Country wisdom and know-how. This is another one. I will leave a link in the description box down below. If you want to grab one, go down there, click it, and it'll take you over to the Amazon store. So this is another really, really great one. Number two of my favorites. My favorites. And my number one, y'all know I talk about it in all my videos or my canning videos, is the Ball Book uh, Complete Book of Home Preserving. Um, I, As you can tell, I have tags in it. I use it all the time for a lot of recipes. My pear jam, my pear and fig, um, pear butter is in here, my salsa, all of it in here. This is a fabulous book. And also in the description box is the link to this book. But in all of our videos, all of our videos that we do, there is a link to go purchase this book. If you are a canner or even want to start to learn canning, this is the book to start off with. This has so many amazing recipes and easy step to guides on how to can. I was not an experienced canner before I got this. I learned from watching a couple of YouTube videos and got this and I feel like I'm a pro now, even though I'm not. Also, I will leave links below if you wanna watch my canning videos um, for beginners. Um, but this is my number one top favorite book must have for homesteaders. Link below. So y'all, thank you so much for watching this quick uh, video on my top favorite homesteading books that should be in your library. Um, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you know that anytime that new content drops to our channel. Follow us on social media at Instagram and Facebook at Ormsby Farm. We post there every single day. And until next video, thank you so much for stopping by. We'll see you later.
God bless. I'm coming.